I have one more beast of a zucchini to take care of that I traded raspberries for with the neighbor. I'm gonna make a casserole, some muffins, and I'm gonna freeze a bunch of it shredded if I have any left. You really don't want to have a zucchini that's gone this far in the garden, but when someone gives one to you, you make something with it. It's gonna be a little bit too far gone in the center and all mushy. So I'm cutting off, cutting out the seeds and I'm going to thinly slice those, but while that's happening, while I'm doing that, I'm going to start browning my ground beef. Turn the heat on medium. I will give it a quick salt and pepper. And while that's happening, I will get the zucchini sliced up. I'm going to get a medium onion out of the garden cut up. Because that needs to go in with the ground beef. Back to the zucchini. Next I've got a couple of stalks of celery. And the recipe calls for three medium tomatoes. The onions and ground beef are cooked through. I'm gonna add some dried parsley, oregano, and garlic salt. This is from my garden. I'm gonna break it up in between my hands. My oregano I used up from last year, and this year just has not grown well, so I'm had a, I had to buy some. A little bit of garlic salt. Mix this up. I'm gonna turn the heat down. I'm gonna layer the celery over the top of that. I've never made this, by the way. This is my mom's recipe, and her and dad like it, so we're going with it, assuming it's good. I'm going to layer all of these fresh tomatoes out of my garden over the top. Layer this zucchini over the top. I think that a sprinkle of salt over the top would be a good idea, just to get the juices to start rendering out of that. A little pepper again. Cook on low for a bit just to steam those vegetables basically. Turn the heat down a little bit and in the meantime work on the zucchini muffins. Now it's time to get the rest of this big old thing prepared to shred. I still need to get all these seeds in this pithy center out so I'm quartering this and cutting out the center. We're going to make really quick work of this. We're going to make zucchini chocolate chip muffins with raspberries from the garden as well. Flour, and it's one and a half cups, three quarter cup of cane sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt. We'll mix these dry ingredients together. In this bowl, I'm going to mix one egg, beat that up lightly. A half a cup of oil, a quarter cup of milk, tablespoon of bottled lemon juice, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix this up. A cup of shredded zucchini. Maybe another half of raspberries. I'm going to fold in with that a half a cup or so of chocolate chips. Probably more. And with any muffin or quick bread type 
of mix, you don't want to over mix it. You want to just barely mix it so you don't have any dry ingredients. I love these cups. I'll include a source in the description box below where I get these from. They're so pretty. We're going to do nine muffins. I'm going to put full scoops into each cup. The last thing I'm going to do is sprinkle these with some crystalline sugar before I put them in the oven. That just gives the tops a nice crunch after they're baked. These are going to go in the oven for 25 minutes or so, and it's at 350. The rest of this shredded zucchini is going to get frozen just like this into approximately two cup servings. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven cups for the freezer of shredded zucchini. We used a little over a cup in the muffins which are in the oven and I used a third of that huge zucchini for the casserole. This is cheddar cheese. And we'll let this continue cooking and get that cheese melted. All right, we are gonna call that done. It looks good on the plate. I think it's gonna be good. It smells great. Piping hot, fresh from the garden. The zucchini chocolate chip Raspberry muffins are done as well. Delicious crispy top with the sugar 